Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Adrian with another cool release. Uh, we're releasing 3.8 today, so it's a huge, huge list again, but let's get into it. Um, okay, cool. So first of all, I want to thank three new contributors, uh, Adrian, Polly. Thank you so much. We've been speaking for quite a while, so thank you for making your first contribution. Uh, Peter Berkenbosch. Uh, thank you for your authorizational contribution and of course Martin thank you so much for what is it Martin oh yeah actually Martin made the authorization um, contribution and Peter uh, started the rails 8 support PR so thank you so much guys for um, for your help cool so again let's go bottom up and let's get the easy ones out of the way so first of all yes rails 8 support we started doing that uh, actually now our should be is now running on main whenever we're doing uh, de development so we added rails 8 to our, to our ci pipeline so it it's, it's it should be uh, quite ready uh, this is a refactor, um, nothing to worry about, we just uh, improved a little bit the code. Update date param to global range. We'll talk about this in just a second. Uh, we'll talk about this uh, in just a second. Uh, add model unrelated errors to um, alerts. Yep, so what was happening was uh, AVO automatically takes your validation errors and displays it to you. So if I go and try to create a new post, and try to hit save and we hit a validation error you'll get the validation error here and you'll also get this uh, in red but sometimes you might want to add another validation error uh, another error that's not really validation maybe you ping an api or maybe something else fails in that uh, request lifecycle and now uh, we will take that error that exception and we will display it in the ui previously we weren't we didn't do that but now uh, we will so you'll get more um, information about that error. Update empty, empty state SVG. Again, we did a big SVG refactor, so this is all uh, f this is all uh, connected, and I'll talk about it. Um, accessibility improvements. Yes, we have been speaking to a few people. We do have some easy pickings, some low, some low hanging fruits to improve uh, accessibility in Avo. So we did that. These are the low hanging fruits. We will add more improvements if you. If you are an accessibility guru and you'd like to help, let's do it. We want to improve that uh, accessibility score in AVO as well. Again, SVG will talk about that. Maintenance, these are just some small things we did to improve the code base. Now this is the big bug fixes um, list. Tax disappearing when, when using fetch values from. This was a bug that we introduced, uh, so before um, some with some configurations the values would just disappear uh, but now they don't uh, this is when you would try to update a record that you previously created now they don't that should be fixed wrong label to belongs to again this is uh, mostly an accessibility um, a fix so before we had a, a belongs to and if you click the label this label and, and feel they weren't connected but now they are and they should Boolean group field on actions. Yes, this had some kind of. This was breaking. Was not respecting the form scope. So now it is. So you can use the uh, Boolean group field on actions. Truncate long action messages to avoid overflow. Exactly that. So if you had exactly what we were talking about, if you had like an error message that would be two thousand characters long, this would be you couldn't see read the message. So that is improved uh, move default URL options we'll talk about this in just a second wrong policy uh, used on sidebar navigation uh, yes so um, we weren't using the right if you were using a custom policy that wasn't used now it is um, add data polymorphic type oh, I think this is just an improvement so we can write some tests and yes let's uh, yeah added the data polymorphic type data attribute so now we can check uh, it in some tests uh, uh, yeah so this is the big SVG refactor that we made so uh, what was happening was in AVO whenever you're trying to let me close this whenever you're trying to write like a custom tool let's see custom user tool well we have this SVG helper where you could say something like edit and this would add the edit SVG which 
we have in assets it would add it in line in your app but what happens when you add your own edit in your parent app well of course it'll break it'll try to use that edit instead of this one or vice versa i can't freaking remember but i think it was that one and it was breaking gobble so now what we're what we did was we moved uh, most of our actually all of our svgs into an slash avo uh, directory so basically now you can use it like this so everything in avo is going to be add avo if you want to add something with uh, edit you add it uh, to your app and it will just work and you just use it like so so yeah uh, it was a big uh, refactor and we have a few other places that we've figured out down the line so that's why you will see a lot of svg related um, uh, prs ensure action icon does not shrink again adrian thank you so much we had this bug now we don't thank you add model and related errors to alerts mm, some of them are duplicated unescape the search query yeah this was a weird edge case when whatever you would use a um, an ampersand within the search so just in the search, all ampersands would have would become HTML entities. It was a weird freaking bug, but we tracked it down and now it just works. Add a few more SVG prefixes. Uh, gem file bad quotes. Yeah, this is just linting. Uh, use correct policy in search controller. Yes, again, in the search controller, then if you're using a custom one, that was not being taken account of. So now it is. Let's go to the features. Uh, trunk, truncate long action message to avoid overflow. I, I feel like we, we've spoken about this. Um, dashboard white filters. Yes, so we have started um, this PR for dashboard white filters. We have spoken about this uh, feature. So, of course, it's a little bit ugly here, but what, what was happening was you requested something like the ranges, like every card has its own range, 30 days, 30, 30 days. But you want something global whenever you change it once it would be um, manifested all over so now we have these the dashboard wide ranges which will, which will be a little bit better more beautiful in in the future uh, and we have set the um, uh, the groundwork for those so um, we have pushed the pr but now we need to do the build the api so gabriel is on it so uh, it'll be nice and uh, smooth again add, add icon to actions list yep this is a cool one so it seems that um, our documentation says that you can use icon in action lists actions list but in reality that wasn't possible and now you can so the action list is actually this drop down right here so you can use this uh, icon uh custom data confirm model with okay so this one was again because we had some failing tests and the tests were taking a long while to 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 run just because we had the confirm the browser confirm dialog uh, opening and closing and not only we couldn't even always click it and so on it was very uh, buggy we added this new custom dialog uh, confirm model uh, using the dialog element so it's going to be where is it where is it button 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 i think it should be somewhere dialog yep yeah. so it's using the dialog element which is super cool it's the uh whatever you it is it is exactly what we wanted in terms of uh alerts so now you can use that and uh, it's very accessible and it's uh, prettier and uh, yep yeah. uh, we have it now in avo Add text area auto grow yes so again this was a nice improvement so whenever you have a text area field you, when you click uh, enter uh, enter 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 it will just grow with you so that's a nice uh, little addition to uh, our so as we said um, we are have a couple of things that are incoming so dashboard wide filters uh, dynamic customizable dynamic filters so let's see dynamic filters um, I can't remember if we talked about this in the past release, but again, uh, you'll be able to customize all of these dynamic filters. Uh, you'll have very powerful tools. So you'll be able to customize the label, the conditions, the type of the filter, uh, and even the query. So you'll be able to change the query and make it your own. So basically, you will be able to just drop the basic, the standard filters if you don't need them. So. These are very, very cool to use. 
and I think we were working on something else. Yeah, we're working on uh, advanced uh, on some advanced uh, multi tenancy uh, scenarios. We even found a bug uh, in Rails about route generation and multiple um, multiple engines mounted uh, one w in each other. Uh, so that's fixed. Uh, it's gonna be released in, in the, the f I think in the next release. Uh, so yeah, these are the things that are, we we are working on right now. Um, and also, of course, the audits uh, feature, the audit logging feature is something that you, some of you are expecting. So uh, we are working on that. We are still waiting on uh, the Tailwind team to release uh, Tailwind 4 so we can work on theming and uh, dark mode. Uh, so we take full advantage of that new CSS variable system. So, um, yep. So uh, keep, uh, you know, subscribe. What is it? What is it? Uh, just subscribe to our newsletter and um, yeah we'll uh, definitely keep you up to date with what is happening uh, we have one more um, update uh, friendly rb so tomorrow join in and you'll see the new speaker it's going to be a stellar speaker a stellar edition to our lineup which is already uh, amazing um, yep so it's going to be really really cool you've seen this 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 guy uh, at conferences, you definitely know him from online, but you I don't think you've ever heard him speak at a conference. So it's going to be a cool uh, debut. Uh, yeah, so uh, we still have a couple of tickets left. Uh, if your a, a company, if your company can sponsor the event, definitely do it because we have some ideas and some cool surprises when we want to. Uh, we want to entertain our attendees. So definitely get in touch with us. I think that's about it for this week. Paul is still on vacation. Paul, I hope you're having fun. We miss you. Uh, that's why you haven't seen him on the channels lately. But um, yep, he's going to be back in about two weeks, I think. So have fun and um, we'll see you soon. That's about it today for today, guys. Um, let me know uh, if you enjoy the release, if you enjoy these new features, uh, if there's anything that you're, you, you, you're kind of expecting or you want to see in AVO, and we'd love to get your feedback on that. So thank you so much and uh, have a good one. I'll see you on the channels. Bye.